Here's your daily updates. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi, and thanks again, everybody, and greetings from the restored train station in Kelso, California, K-E-L-S-O. Look on a map, and you'll find it's right in the middle of the Mojave Desert. In a previous report, we talked about the SEMA grade, the railroad that runs up a very, very long grade to SEMA, California, and its importance in railroading. Well, at one time, an incredible number of trains came through here, and there was a depot here at Kelso. And now the Park Service has put it back together, and it's a genuine way station for people who make their way across the desert. I first discovered this building on my first trip across the Mojave. At that time, it was in the early stages of restoration. The Union Pacific had built the depot in the 1920s. At that time, it was on the main line between L.A. and Salt Lake City. Additionally, there was mining in the area, increasing the number of trains and workers and the need for a restaurant and other services. The station remained in service until the mid-60s. By the 1980s, the long abandoned structure was becoming the target of vandals and the railroad wanted to tear it down. Then a group of environmental and historic preservation activists organized the Kelso Depot Fund. It stopped the demolition, but the cost of continuing the project, the cost of restoration was more than the group could afford. Then entered the Bureau of Land Management. In 1992, the BLM, which owned the surrounding area in the Mojave, took title to the building. Eventually, the National Park Service took over the structure when the area became part of the Mojave National Preserve. The restoration was finished in 2005. Some great exhibits dealing with the Mojave and its history were added. The old depot now welcomes thousands of visitors, and the depot's historic lunch counter, the Beanery, is open again and welcomes people out in the middle of the desert. The old depot is now the primary visitor center for the Mojave. The facility's baggage room, ticket office, and two dormitories have been preserved to show what life along the railroad was like in the 1920s and 30s. It's the restored Kelso Depot, and it is, for all intents and purposes, out in the middle of nowhere. But it's worth finding. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.